Hi, my name is Chandra Diningrat from ISID Indonesia and in this video I'm going to show you how to create the Laferrari 3D surface model using 7NX. So the first step I need to do is turning on the NX real shape and start creating a cage polyline. And then I extrude this cage polyline as necessary using extrude cage command and start creating the hood surface. And by using extra cat command and symmetry modeling command, I created this whole surface. And using combination of split face command, transform cage command, I adjusted this surface following the raster image. And I added this shape using sweep cage command. Okay, this shape, yeah and modify it using a uh, transform cage and i created this hole using combination of delete cage command set weight command and transform cage command okay this little adjustment using set weight command for uh, changing the radius and then change this or modify it using transform cage and then i added this little wing in the middle of the hood using same steps like a transform cage direct cage set weight command and so on and then i widen this surface using combination of cage polyline sweep page command and then uh modify it using set weight command and transform cage command using the same step i continue to widen this surface until i got surface like this okay little adjustment here and until i got surface like this using the same steps okay that's good then I edit the surface using extra cage command and then modify it using combination of set weight command and transform cage. Okay, it's adjustment here and following uh, the raster image. Then I modify this headlamp area using combination of split, split face command, set weight command and transform cage. Okay, I uh, modify it, I adjust it until I feel satisfied. Okay, a little adjustment here again. Okay, looks good. And uh, a little modification here again. Okay, then I created this surface using cage folly line and loft cage for a uh, front fender area and then connected it uh, to the hood surface using loft cage command also here is uh, another modification using transform cage to uh, modify the contour of the shape Okay, little modification again. Following till following the raster image and uh, until I feel satisfied. Satisfied. Then I edit this tiny surface using same step like uh, split face command and delete face. And then I created the surface using a uh, swift cage command. With little adjustment, I created shape like this. And I extrude this surface using extrude cage command. And then by using combination of extrude cage, transform cage, and other commands, I created the front wing part using the same step like 
previous, like extricate separate command, split phase command, and so on. So a little modification here again, using transform case until I feel satisfied and following the raster image. Okay, looks good. And then I edit this uh, button from bump bumper using same step. I and then extrude some area using same steps. And I created this front add in tech mesh using cage polyline and extrude cage command. Okay, let's jump to the end result. And this is my end result using the same steps like the previous. And uh, this 3D model is ready for the rendering process. After this, I go to an extended application and uh, do some uh, rendering process using it. And these are some rendering results using an extender. Okay, that's enough for me. Uh, thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.